All right, this one should be pretty well known. I'm sitting here tying a bunch of these, so I figured I might as well do a video on them. Uh, this is just going to be your standard tan elk hair caddis. And when we're all done, that's basically what we're going to look at. That's what we're going to have as a finished product. So in the vise is a size 14 Arex dry fly hook. Uh, it's a dry fly hook that I've been using quite a bit lately. It's kind of growing on me. And I'm going to be using some Tenot Vivis, which is one of my favorite threads anytime I'm using a dub body. Vivis is, is great stuff. So just going to get a little bit of a thread base here started. And I tie my elk hair caddises, I guess, I'm not really sure the word for it, I guess maybe in an efficient manner, I guess you can say. Um, I'm, I'm certainly a hobby tire. I, I'm not somebody that ties professionally or ties for any fly shops or anything like that but I do have some flies that I use a lot and if I have one of those flies that I have to tie a lot of I try to do them in a certain way so what I mean by that is I want to try to tie this as quickly as possible um, not that I'm gonna you know do that hastily in the video but I want to kind of show you how I make every thread wrap count so I've got my thread base laid down about halfway and I am going to tie in a little piece of extra small silver wire. And I'm going to get that tied in nice and tight. All the way down to within a couple of wraps of where I'm going to start my body. So now, before I bring my thread back up, I'm going to go ahead and dub my body. And to do that, I've got some some tan, some basic tan caddis dubbing here. I don't remember the brand that makes this, but this is a really common common type of dubbing, so you can find it pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to get a nice, thin, uniform dubbing noodle all made up. Probably going to have a hard time seeing the dubbing on the on the film with the tan color, but you get the point. So I'm going to pull a good amount of thread out and make this a rather lengthy dubbing noodle. I might have to add a little bit more because I can only go so so long on when I'm doing a video or else my thread will hit my setup as it comes around. So notice how I left a little bit of thread there because I still have a couple of wraps here on the back. So I'm going to do those two wraps here, keep securing the wire. Once my dubbing starts to wrap onto the shank, now I'm going to work my way back up towards the front to form my body. Got a little bit of a hump there in my body, but it doesn't really matter. I, with an, with an care, you don't really need to be super neat with the body. I'm just going to cover it with hackle anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right. It ended up being actually a... Pretty good amount of dubbing. I'm happy with that. All right. So I hope that this is enough. But here I have what's left of a little honey done feather. And when I say I hope I have enough left is this feather or this cape I have. The feathers on this are extremely long. It's a it's a silver rated silver rated cape. But man, these feathers are, I think I'm, let's see over here, I got, I got about eight of these things I've tied with one feather. So this is the last little piece of it. And I'm just going to get that tied in right here at the head. Get a couple of really nice tight wraps down towards the eye and then back to the tie in point. And I'm just going to throw in a quick half hitch there because I'm going to use my rotary function. So I don't want my thread unwrapping and somewhere up in there is the little bit of quill I got to snip off there we go so I'm gonna get my thread in the material holder and I'm gonna give this one wrap and where'd it go oh here we go I was gonna give it one wrap just to kind of get it started and then I'm gonna cinch the end of my feather into my hackle pliers like that get one good wrap here right at the head angle my feather and get that wrapped 
all the way back down towards the back of the fly. And I'm going to hold that up. And at the same time, I'm going to take one wrap of my wire over the top. And once I catch the tag end of my feather, I can pop those players off there and just wrap back the other way. And that wire will hold that hackle right in place. So we're good. Get that out of the way. Secure the wire with a couple of wraps. And there's a bunch of different ways to tie these. I mean, these are this is a staple fly for most people. I tie it. It's one of my staple dries. I tie I fish a ton of these. So I try to tie as many as I can. But I have found this to be one of the faster, more efficient ways of tying this. And it is how I do mine. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take, go to the top and I'm just going to snip off the top of the hackle here. That really doesn't serve any kind of purpose. And I can make my uh, wing and everything sit up and splay out. And I don't really want that. So what I've got is I have a patch of just regular natural elk hair. And I'm going to go in and snip off a tuft of this hair that I don't really know if I can reference anything that'll give you a good idea how much hair I'm using and that's about that's about what I've got right there when I when I bound it all up together it's not quite the size of a pencil a little bit less but hopefully that'll give you a good idea so I'm just gonna take these fibers and I'm going to load them into a hackle stacker. Not a hackle stacker, a hair stacker. And I'm just going to give that some taps. Get those tips all lined up and get ready for our final step. This, this is not a very intricate fly. It's very simple and easy to tie. All right, so let's... Pull that out. Everything looks pretty straight and aligned. I kind of clean it up a little bit, get them where I want them. So I'm just going to go and measure that out. I want it just a little bit longer than the body, so that looks about good right there. So see where I'm pinching it here? I'm going to transfer that grip over to my left hand, keep the pressure on it, and I'm going to take my scissors and just kind of slide in here right after where I've gripped it and I'm just going to make one clean cut. And I don't I don't trim these after the fact. I trim them ahead of time. I think it's a little bit easier. And I'm just going to take my thread. I'm going to give that a little bit of a counterclockwise spin. I'm going to set that right on top. I'm going to make a loose wrap just to gather all those fibers and I'm going to start squeezing that thread to kind of flare out that head. Make another wrap, squeeze it a little bit more. Hope I don't break my thread. You got to be real careful with thread control at this step. And I'm just going to make as tight a wraps as I could possibly make without breaking my thread. And I end up with something like that. So now I'm just going to come up in front here. I'm going to take, take this tuft. I'm going to hold everything all together. I'm going to fold that tuft back a little bit. And I'm just going to make a couple of thread wraps in front of it. And that is going to prep where my whip finish is going to go, which is our next and final step. So with everything held back, I'm just going to slip a whip finish in there of about three or four turns. Boom. Get that all done. And snip off. I don't really see any errant fibers that need any attention. So we are looking pretty good here. Just kind of make sure that's sitting right up where I want it. And that is pretty much it. That is your regular everyday standard elk hair caddis. There's a few different ways to tie these. You know, you probably there's probably a million videos on this fly out there, but that's how I tie mine. It makes it come out exactly the way that I want it, and it's done in a way where I can do it pretty quickly and get a lot of these tied up in a short period of time. Um, I also use my materials and I and I kind of keep them together in a certain way so I can use as um, I can tie as many flies as I can out of each individual material like I told you in the beginning that feather 
Um, man, this is this is at least nine. I think it's about nine. I tied with that one feather. So that is pretty much it. Not a lot to it. Very straightforward, effective fly. Any questions, comments, anything, uh, put them down there. I'll respond to anything that I can.